With the end of the Cold War came a rise of global instability. When the Iron Curtain was finally drawn, the United States began to reduce its massive military presence in Europe and Asia. As a result, the Army's rapid response capability was weakened. In order to deploy its forces to global hotspots effectively, the Army needed to be transformed. In 1999, they announced the development of a new engagement doctrine centered around high-tech, rapid deployment combat brigades. Heavy tracked vehicles would be replaced by lighter, faster wheeled vehicles. The Stryker has significant advantages over its predecessor. Taking advantage of new information technologies, the Stryker is outfitted with a battle management system which links it up with other similarly equipped vehicles, creating a digital battlefield communication system. Accurate positioning information is made available through a GPS receiver. Data is seamlessly and automatically transmitted to all levels of command, ensuring that Stryker brigades have real-time battlefield intelligence. To protect their crews, all Strikers have advanced steel and ceramic armor, which can withstand a heavy pounding. Whether from 50 caliber machine gun fire, airburst fragments, or armor-piercing rounds, Strikers also boast some innovative technologies, such as run-flat tires that can be inflated or deflated from within the vehicle to adapt to surfaces from deep mud to paved roads. In addition to its defensive capabilities, the Striker is able to inflict plenty of damage. Its weapons system consists of either a 40mm automatic grenade launcher or a 50 caliber heavy machine gun. A significant advantage of the Stryker family is its interchangeability of essential parts between its many variants. In the Stryker Brigade combat teams, each vehicle will be based on the Stryker design. Of the ten proposed Stryker variants, the first to enter service is the Stryker Infantry Carrier Vehicle. The second version to be fielded is the 105mm Stryker Mobile Gun System. The mobile gun system provides direct fire support to infantry during urban operations. It isn't a tank, but it is equipped with the same 105mm cannon used on the M1 Abrams tank. The gun has a 6 second autoloader with an 8 round ready magazine, and there are an additional 10 rounds stored in the turret. All strikers are designed to be deployed by the C-130 transport. With giant rubber tires instead of noisy tracks, strikers are fast and quiet. They draw on the brigade's reconnaissance drones, eavesdropping equipment, and the Army's most advanced communications gear to outflank an enemy rather than overpower it. The Army is betting much of its future on the success of this 19-ton wheeled combat vehicle. In 2003, the Stryker made its combat debut in Operation Iraqi Freedom with the Army's first deployment of Stryker Brigade combat teams. The Stryker's advantages are plain to see. Its ability to carry a nine-man infantry squad. The interchangeability of its parts its firepower, advanced communications, and its ability to be rapidly deployed anywhere in the world. For years to come, these characteristics will help ensure the Stryker's dominance in the war on wheels. Wheeled vehicles were the pioneers of the modern armored vehicle. Technological advances have surmounted the early limitations of wheeled combat vehicles and transformed them into superior fighting machines. From the chariots of ancient warriors to today's advanced striker combat brigades, mobile combat has always meant war on wheels.